Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I'm bringing you episode 2 of Fallout 4 Console Mods of the Week. This is going to be a really quick episode. I could only find 4 mods to showcase because I am on a really tight schedule, because I have exams and a lot of final assignments due this week. But I want to put uh, push an episode out, and so I'm giving you guys this. Hopefully this can ho hold you out until, you know, like, next week, and then, well, I'm going to be busy for the next 2 weeks, but hopefully this can, ho like, I'll have two quick episodes out for the next two weeks and then hopefully I'll be able to have really long episodes with up to eight mods uh, during the summer and past that. So yeah guys please bear with me. I know it, it kind of sucks but it's only two weeks and it'll go by really quickly but for now I do have some mods to showcase so let's get straight into it. My first mod this week is Water Enhancement Textures or Wet by Sparrow Prince. This is a really cool mod and it's a must have for those who like immersion. It has no impact on performance and it improves water textures by a mile. It really makes water look better and it doesn't really go for like a really outrageous approach but it tries to make water m look more realistic and less artificial and it uh, also really improves the ripples or the waves and it honestly looks like real water as you can see here. I will leave a, a link to all the mods in the description and I definitely recommend that Xbox One users and in the future PS4 users to check this out. Our next mod is World War II Colt 1911 Pistol by Leo2Link. As you can see, the gun looks amazing, he's put a lot of work into the textures, and it also really functions well as a gun in the game. There are a ton of attachments as you can see here, and it actually does a lot of damage once you fully customize it. I definitely recommend this to anyone who's looking for a new nice pistol in the game. And it also sounds really nice. I'll have the sound on in this clip. And yeah, it sounds really nice and it does really well and does a ton of damage. And I definitely recommend that you guys pick it up. My final two mods for this week are Dark Husky Dogmeat by Tiger and Everyone's Best Friend Dogmeat Plus Companion at the same time by Valdesil. The Dark Husky Dogmeat was one of the first mods I ever installed back on my PC. And it's really cool and it's simple but it really does the job well and it turns dog meat into a husky. The everyone's best friend uh, dog meat and companion allows you to have old Longfellow or any other companion along with dog meat and actually it's as if dog meat isn't even there. He, do he doesn't uh, take away the lone wander or perk benefits and I'm pretty sure that Bethesda originally planned that dog meat would be available along with another companion and so it's nice to see that modders were able to bring this in and so yeah that is pretty much it guys i realized this was a super quick video and that i was only able to show off four relatively minor mods however i have a bunch of content coming over the summer i'm actually gonna try and upload once or twice a day i know that sounds crazy it probably won't happen knowing me but i'm gonna do my best to upload as much as i can over the summer but for these next two weeks you guys are gonna have to bear with me um, this week and next week's mod uh, mods of the week will be pretty bad, but uh, I guarantee I'll make up for it. So thank you guys for watching. For more Fallout 4 content, feel free to subscribe and to check out my other videos. Uh, also feel free to leave a like and drop a comment what you think about these console mods, and I will see you guys later. Bye.